YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Antha Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a mid skin fade on a natural waiver. Before every cut, I like to begin by brushing or combing out my client's hair. Shout out to Still Too Comb for this dope comb you see me using. And the reason why I like to comb or brush out the hair is I like to just get everything to lay in its natural direction. Alright, so my client right here, he's actually a natural waver. And what I mean by that is he doesn't brush for them, he doesn't work for them, they just naturally come down. And to be honest, he doesn't really like them. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to take a wall number six premium guard and I'm going to go against the grain and knock down bulk. And this happens to be the desired length for my client. Alright, so now that I got everything knocked down to where I want it, I'm going to take my Andis Cordless T Outliner and I'm going to begin to set my first guide, which is going to be my bald guideline. And this is a mid fade, so we're going to take it right to that temple peak and bring it around the back and give a little slope to the back just so it kind of complements the shape of his head. Alright, so now that my guide set, I'm going to come back through with my Babyliss Foil FX2 and I'm going to completely bald out that guide. And what you're going to see me do is when I get towards the top of the guide, I'm going to use a flick out motion because I want to demonstrate a smooth transition from completely bald to stubble because later on that's what's going to really help my fade pop and stand out. So the little bit of hair that I do leave towards the top of the guide, if you happen to set in like a, a harsh guideline with the shaver and you didn't mean to, clearly none of us mean to, it's okay, don't panic because what you're gonna wanna do and you're gonna see me do here in a minute is I'm gonna take my foil shaver and I'm gonna directly apply it right above where I set the guide just like you see me doing now and I'm gonna dab downwards. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna soften any weight that was there and it's gonna remove any guide that was set. The more you tap it, the more that it's removed. And when you go downwards like that, you could feel comfortable enough to know that it's not gonna completely remove everything. So once that's done, I'm gonna come in with my wall magic clip with my lever open and I happen to have the original fade blade. Yes, it's gold, but it's the original blade. Once I set that guide with the lever open, then you're gonna see me close my lever and I'm gonna begin to blend from the bottom back up towards the top of that guide. And little by little as I work my way up, just like you see me doing now, I'm gonna open my lever and I'm gonna continue to do that. And each time that I do that, I'm gonna notice that that guide's raising up with me, but that's okay because by the time I completely extend my lever, meaning completely open it again, that guide will be completely blended out. All right, so now that my guide's been set and blended out, I'm gonna do a little detail work and I'm gonna do it in real time, meaning I'm not gonna speed it up or slow it down. You're gonna see me do some lever play right here, meaning I'm gonna open and close my lever as needed. And I want you to pay attention that anytime I'm removing a bigger, darker area or I'm removing a guide, I directly apply the whole blade to the scalp and work up. Anytime I'm trying to focus in a specific area like you see me doing now, I use the corner of my blade. And, and the difference between the two is when you're using just the corner of your blade, you're allowed to focus on a specific area with less worry of setting in any new harsh guideline or guideline period that might be hard to remove or it might make you bring your blend up. Anytime you're trying to remove bulk, Go ahead and use that whole blade to just knock it out quicker. So now you're gonna see me switch over to my taper blade. I'm gonna um, attach the wall number one color guard and I'm gonna come in with my lever open and I'm gonna begin to set my next guide, giving myself the same amount of space that I just gave myself 
with the previous guide so I keep my fade consistent. So once that guide's set, you're gonna see me close my lever and I'm gonna begin to blend from the bottom of that guide back up towards the top of that guide. Unlike the previous step, I'm not gonna do no lever play, meaning I'm gonna go ahead and leave my, um, my lever closed and I'm gonna blend from the bottom of that guide right back up to where I just left off with the lever fully open. And I'm gonna keep in mind that the one's not gonna completely remove itself, but it is gonna soften it up so when I come through like I am right now with my wall half color guard with the lever open, it's easier to remove and blend out. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna attack right above where that weight was left. And I'm gonna fade, but I'm gonna fade downwards, closing my lever as needed until that guide's completely blended out. All right, so now that my blend's starting to come together, I'm gonna go ahead and do some clipper over comb. So right here, you're gonna see me wet the hair and then I'm gonna re-comb it down just so I could get everything to lay naturally. So when I do my clipper over comb, I could get it as clean as I can. So I like to come in with my clipper with the lever open. I then apply the comb directly to the scalp and I either um, leave the comb directly straight up if I'm trying to obtain that boxy look if I'm trying to obtain a different look, I'll either slightly angle it at a 45 degree or a 90 degree depending on my client and their head shape. And so when I apply my comb directly flat on the head and I make my angle position, I remove anything that falls in the teeth. And I know that nine times out of 10, there's always some weight left behind with the clipper over comb. And that's okay because you're gonna see me come through like you are right here with my wall number one and a half premium guard with the lever open and I'm just gonna attack any weight that was left behind from that clipper over comb. Anytime you use a comb and you're doing clipper over comb, in my opinion, it's equivalent to the one and a half fully open. So that's why I clean it up with that. And since I'm doing cleanup right here, you're just gonna see me fully detail this cut and I'm gonna use the fade down process doing it, starting with my wall one and a half premium guard with the lever open. And then I'm gonna work my way down in guards until I feel like this blend is popping like it should be. Speaking of popping, real quick, shout out to Tito Beats for this dope fire that you hear in your ear. Make sure to hit that link in the description Check his channel out, subscribe, and let him know that your boy Antha Barber sent you. I also want to congratulate Big Al for hitting that thousand subscriber count. Shout out to you. I also want to shout out Rum the Barber. I love that channel. Those are just two great channels that I see. I see greatness in the making, and, and it's just really exciting to watch and, and see it all unfold. And uh, I just want to give my support to both of those channels. And I also want to say that why I have you guys' ear for a minute, I just want to let y'all know that I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my content. If you guys could please remain active in the comment section and make sure to hit that like button. And if you don't like it, hit that thumbs down. That way I know you're watching my content, you're either finding in value or you're not and it's gonna help my channel reach more people so if you feel like my content should reach more people let's get more active let's start sharing and let's start smashing that like button so here's a look at the final cut look at those waves boy them are the natural waves i was telling y'all about if you got anything useful smash that like button if you're new to my channel i suggest you stick around it's only gonna get doper from here I appreciate y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing. I'm out.